Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can take an existing PowerPoint that you've created and make a video out of that PowerPoint. So, let's begin. Now it's very important to note that in this demonstration, I'm using the 2016 Mac version of PowerPoint. But if you're a Windows user using the 2016 version, the process is very similar. So you should be able to follow along just fine. Now the first step you'll need to do will obviously be creating your PowerPoint. And if you want any animations added to your PowerPoint like I've got here, you'll need to do that before you begin recording. But once you've finished making a PowerPoint presentation, the next thing you might want to do is add audio to that presentation. Now, most laptops come with a built-in microphone that can be used of various quality depending on your computer. You can choose to use that microphone and talk into the laptop. However, if yours doesn't have a microphone or you're not using a laptop, or you might want a little bit better audio, you can easily get external microphones that plug easily into your computer and use that instead. But once you've got sorted how you're gonna record your audio, to add audio to your presentation, you locate the slideshow toolbar up at the top here. And you've got this tab here called Record Slideshow. When you press this tab, it'll immediately start recording. And what will come up is a view that looks like this, and it's already capturing what I'm saying. Now, as with any other PowerPoint, you scroll through them the same way, and I like to use the direction keys to do this. So once I've finished with the slide, I use my direction key and it will go to the next slide. And if you've got animations, you keep pressing that direction key, and those animations will add as per normal, and will save the timing that you press them to come in at. Once you've finished, you either press this end show up the top left here, or you just press the next directional key. And it'll ask you whether you want to save the slide timings. If you're happy with what you recorded, you hit yes to that option. If you want to review what you recorded and make sure you're happy with it before you move to the next step, you can press this button here, the play from start button found on that slideshow toolbar, and it'll play what you recorded from the start. And it'll look a little something like this. And what will come up is a view that looks like this, and it's already capturing what I'm saying. I'm gonna escape that now. Now you might not have been able to hear that audio the best because it was coming through my laptop speakers. But let's now say that you're happy with the recording and you want to export this as a video now. This is where Macs and Windows will slightly differ. On a Windows computer, you'll have a file option here, where on the Mac, I need to go to the top bar and find my file option here. And you want to press this. Now, if you're using a Windows computer, you'll actually immediately see a create a video option. However, on the Mac, we don't have that here. So to create a video on a Mac, we need to hit the export. Obviously on the Windows, you press that create a video option. Now if you're using a Windows computer, what comes up next is pretty self-explanatory in order to create your video. But for Mac, it's hidden under a dropdown. You'll find this file format option. And at the moment, it defaults to PDF. Well, I don't want to export it as a PDF. Instead, I want to press this drop down and it gives me a list of file formats to export it as. There's two video format files that we can export as, either an MP4 or a MOV file. Now these two files are fairly similar. The MOV file is a bit more quick time related than anything else, where the MP4 file is much more widely recognized. So if you're planning to share this amongst a lot of people, you might want to use the MP4 file. Now once you've selected that, it gives me a quality option and it has three different levels that you can choose from. Now the higher the quality you choose to export your video, the larger the file's going to be. So you've got to decide what is going to be most appropriate. Here I'm going to choose the top quality, which is a 1920 by 1080 video. Once you've done that and you're happy with where you're exporting it to, you press the export button. And what that now does is down the bottom here, it's exporting that video in an MP4 file. Once you've allowed PowerPoint to finish exporting that file, you locate that file where you've saved it and you've successfully created a video of your PowerPoint. 